Good evening, welcome to Sunday Night Prayer. hope it's been a good day for you, uh, a relaxing day, a fruitful day. I don't know, but hopefully a good day. Tonight is the Itta Compline. The Sacred Three. To save, to shield, to surround. This hearth, this home, this night every night. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me to the way everlasting. O Father, O Son, O Holy Spirit, forgive me my sins. O only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, forgive O God who is one, O God who is true, O God who is first, O God who is one substance, O God only mighty, in three persons truly merciful, forgive. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light, O God of life this night. Close not thy gladness to my sight. Keep your people, Lord, in the arms of your embrace. Shelter them under your wings. Be their light in darkness. Be their hope in distress. Be their calm in anxiety. Be their strength in weakness. Be their comfort in pain, be their song in the night. In peace I will lie down, for it is you, O Lord, you alone who makes me to rest secure. Be it on your own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall awake. Be the peace of the Spirit mine this night. Be the peace of the Son mine this night. Be the peace of the Father mine this night. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every Sunday I get um, prayers emailed through from one of my favourite pastors, Nadia Boltzweber, and today's prayers have a theme of gratitude and I think this being the, the end of one week and the beginning of another, it's really important to take stock of the things that we've been grateful for this week. So I just, I'd like to share these with you. I think that you'll find a lot of it quite relatable. Give us this day our daily gratitude. That I have been given one more day, I give thanks. That the birds still sing each morning, impossibly early, outside my window, I give thanks. For the sun rising once again in the east, I give thanks. That for this day I have bread, I give thanks. For drinkable water, for breathable air, and Dairy Queen dipped cones, I give thanks. For one more day of mobility, I give thanks. For novelists who create worlds and characters and stories for our minds and not for our TVs, I give thanks. For the puppy I got at the beginning of quarantine who is currently destroying my life, I give thanks. For cell phone reception, and I guess it's better than nothing Zoom calls, and reliable internet service. 
I give thanks. That I am loved. I give thanks. That I am forgiven. I give thanks. That I am alive. I give thanks. That you, O God, are known by many names. I give thanks. That you, O God, are present when I feel only your absence. I give thanks. That you are God and I am not. I give the most thanks. Forgive me when I forget that one. And for every other gift that I am too self-obsessed to see, but that totally comes from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I have so many things to be thankful for and I'm sure that you do too. It's sometimes so much easier to concentrate on the things that are difficult or negative and so I try and always make it my aim to concentrate on those positive things, the things that I will always be thankful for, the small things, the large things and everything in between. So I pray that you go to your bed this night with gratitude in your heart and thankfulness for all of those amazing things for which we are blessed. So sleep well, my friends. I hope you arise tomorrow ready to face a new week. And I'll see you back here tomorrow night. Sleep well.